Hello again, everybody. I'm Will, and if you're here again, it's because you want episode four of the Fantasy Football Report. Let's begin. <clears throat> Having rallied in week three, the parties known as Chase Victory and Romeo and Juliet seem re-energized and more than ready to continue their quests for the legendary fantasy football and associated prize money. Starting off the fourth week of combat, Sir Jamar Chase, Sir T. Higgins, and Sir Evan McPherson, all Knights of the Bengals, scouted ahead in an early sortie that commenced on Thursday, the 29th of September, calendar year 2022. While Sir Jamar Chase managed to only put up a measly 12.1 points, it is clear that his efforts were designed to draw enemy forces towards him, as his stat line showed that he was rather productive with relatively little attention. This distraction permitted Sir T. Higgins of the Bengals to record 26.4 points for the party, while Evan McPherson provided 11 points of ranged cover. When the main battles began on Sunday, October 2nd, calendar year 2022, Chase Victory already had a significant lead. Facing off against the party, fighting under the banner Auto Draft, a.k.a. Jamie. <clears throat> Sir Russell Wilson of the Broncos again led the charge. Frustrated with everyone doubting his abilities due to his age, Sir Russell Wilson produced a tremendous effort this time, bringing 31.48 points to his own party. Their efforts were needed as Sir Najee Harris of the Steelers, Sir Ramondre Stevenson of the Patriots, Sir A.J. Brown of the Eagles, Sir Kyle Pitts of the Falcons, and the defensive Ravens all failed to impress during combat. Despite the weaker efforts of these men, Chase Victory was able to eke out a narrow victory, scoring a total of 124.28 points to Autodraft's 123.58 points. Elsewhere, Romeo and Juliet showed clear signs of dominance on the field of battle. In stark contrast to Chase Victory, Romeo and Juliet faced off against Taylor Swift's, aka Rob. Sir Kyler Murray of the Cardinals, Sir CeeDee Lamb of the Cowboys, Sir Brees Hall of the Jets, Sir Patrick Fryermoth of the Steelers, Sir Damian Pierce of the Texans, Sir Romeo Dobbs of the Packers, Sir Tyler Bass of the Bills, and the defensive Eagles all rallied incredibly hard, striking down their foe and clinching a victory with an impressive total score of 148.78 points to Taylor Swift's 119.8 points, though this victory made the party nervous that perhaps they'd all have breakup songs written about them henceforth. On a tragic note, however, Sir Gervonta Williams of the Broncos fell in battle this week. Injuring his knee, the Royal Healers have determined that the brave young knight would be unable to fight for the rest of this season's campaign, leaving him stuck on the sidelines. With their promising young knight now out of commission, the future is unclear on whether or not Romeo and Juliet will be able to continue their campaign of dominance. Both parties now standing on records of three victories and one defeat, their defeats only coming at the hands of nasty trolls named Matt who share a penchant for dumpster diving at that one medical testing center that stores urine samples. Can both parties continue their success in week five? Time will tell, as Romeo and Juliet faces off against the party known as Confused Hockey Fan, aka Ben. And Chase Victory looks to defeat the party known as Thick Thighs Save Lives, aka Cheatin' Bobby! Will our brave adventurers continue their recent winning streaks? Find out next time when I bring you more footballs and fantasies!